Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This morning I've come out and I'm at the top of Abbotsbury Hill uh, in Dorset, right on the coast. Um, you guys probably know of Abbotsbury Hill, it's the coast road that runs from Bridport to Weymouth. Uh, apologies for the audio, it is very windy. I've actually taken shelter behind some trees to try and make it uh, a bit more bearable for you guys. Uh, it's really cold, you can feel winter's coming. Uh, autumn's kind of on the way out now, the leaves are pretty much all gone. And um, I've come out to shoot the sunrise this morning and I've come out to the top of Abbotsbury Hill. Abbotsbury is famous for its castle up on top of the hill. And um, there's this beautiful vista looking all the way along Chesil Beach and out to Portland in the background. And uh, I've climbed up on the hill behind the castle uh, at the top of where you drive. And um, I've got a really nice shot looking straight across the castle in the right hand bottom third. And then Chesil Beach swooping round and then Portland in the background as well. So I've set up a composition and um, just going to wait for the light. The light was really, really promising earlier on. I've been here about half an hour and it was seriously pink and purple. Like it looked almost fake. Uh, earlier on on the horizon. I'll pop a little clip up on screen for you guys now so you can see but um, it was really really dark ISO was like 8000 so it's going to be noisy and horrible but um, it was beautiful earlier on and uh, unfortunately I couldn't get a shot anywhere. I've set up this composition now and it's all gone grey so I'm not really sure what to expect but we're going to sit out anyway and see what happens. The sun is due to come up in about 15 minutes time so hopefully then we'll have some nice light maybe hitting the side of the castle and uh, just dressing the landscape in a nice bright orange tone because right now it looks well pretty moody and grey. So the light's still flat and grey and pretty miserable and windy and cold and don't know, I'm not really hopeful that there's going to be any more light. Um, I did take an image uh, when the sky was all pink and purpley and that was about 45 minutes before sunrise. We're still 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes before sunrise now. This was maybe 45, 50 minutes before sunrise and uh, just this big fiery purpley pinky glow on the horizon and um, I'll pop that up on screen for you guys in a minute uh, probably in comparison with the shot I'll get in a minute when the sun comes up just to really show you guys the difference uh, light can really do on a composition and pretty much taking an hour apart uh, more or less so that one was taken about 45 minutes ago and uh, planning to take another image when the sun comes up over the horizon and hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> gives me some light <laughs> would be nice because I'm freezing cold as well but um, yeah, just sitting out and waiting and seeing what happens. Over there where that big orange glow is that you can't quite see, uh, I can see a huge gap on the horizon and it's glowing orange. So that means that the sun is gonna come up through a gap, uh, through like a pocket, maybe 10 minutes, and then hide up behind the clouds and in that gap of like five or ten minutes or however long it is that the sun takes to come up through the horizon pass up through and then into the clouds is when you're going to grab your shot so it's all about waiting i get a lot of people ask me ben how do you get good light or how do you predict good light and it's not easy to predict good light you have to obviously have the right clouds and stuff and this morning is not ideal it could be miles miles better but you have to make do with what you have and kind of work with it and see what will happen and uh, right now this could be really nice if it works uh, if it doesn't work then I've already got a shot in the bag already but this could be really really good so it's all about patience uh, the tripod hasn't moved in the last hour it's the same shot it's exactly the same composition it's just the right light you just need the right light Okay, I think it's time to pack up. I don't think it's gonna kick off anymore. The sun's been up now about 15, 20 minutes 
and uh, I was hoping maybe there would be a tiny gap in that big bank of clouds over there and I could just have a tiny bit of light on the castle for just two seconds and I'd have got it but um, I really don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I got another nice shot, it's a different sort of hue, more orangey and it kind of works and I'll put the two up in a minute so you guys can see. Uh, one was shot well over an hour ago and that one was shot just about 10 minutes ago. A location I'm definitely, definitely going to come back to, um, maybe in about a month or so when the sun comes around a little bit more towards the south. I think it would be really, really good then. And some nicer skies would be really good too, so time to pack up and head home get back in the warm because it's blimmin' freezing. <laughs> So walking back to the car now, all packed up, heading home. And uh, I hope you guys have liked this one. I uh, got a couple of good images there, but uh, the light wasn't just, just right. It would have been really nice if I had some nice light. So definitely a location I will be coming back to in a couple of months time. So thank you very much for watching. Apologies for the audio if it's been crackly. Uh, it's been very windy. I hope you guys have liked this one. Please give us a like. Tell us what you think down in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do consider clicking that subscribe button below. And I will see you guys in the next one.